It's really got to be the drill. And we talk about a little bit. All right, in this breakdown, we're going to look at Sitikov's crackdown position and some of the things that make it really good and why he has such a high conversion rate in here and tends to not give up any exposures. And when he does, he typically scores um, his takedown anyway afterwards. So let's get into it. In this first clip, we're really just gonna look at a basic head outside finish concept, which is shifting weight across. Um, he does get into his crackdown, but this is about as easy of easy of a finish as he can get. So we see guy's got kind of some sprawl resistance. Sitikov starts to lift a little bit like the mid lift he does. And then his hands are going to punch down and twist in order to get the guy to his butt. And now everything is working to get the guy to his opposite hip. So defensively, the guy would rather be on his inside hip. Um, offensively, Sitikov wants to put him on his far hip by shifting his weight across. So we'll see right here. He starts to shift his weight toward the guy's far butt cheek. And then it gets really hard to start to wrestle from that position. Here, another fairly simple finish. Um, and not quite exactly crackdown as you would sometimes see it, but similar kind of position where defense is kind of almost on his butt. And one of the things that Sitikov does a really good job at, and he does it on all his other finishes too. Um, is getting his outside hand to the heel on this far side. Getting their legs straight is one of the important pieces of his crackdown. And if this shoulder, his inside shoulder, ever slips out, it's really hard to get the guy's leg straight because he wants to pull with his hand. And if there's nothing pushing this direction, then it's really hard to get the leg straight. If he's only pulling in this direction, then the guy's gonna be able to bend his knee and the finish is gonna get kind of difficult. All right, for this specific finish, as soon as they start to hit the mat, we see Sitikov find space through the far side, look to change off to a double leg. And then again, just like before, everything is shifting through to get the opponent onto their far hip. This finish, very similar to the last one, gets his foot off the mat, finds space, gets his arm across to like a double leg. We're not gonna see the whole finish because it takes a little bit too long, but the concepts here are pretty similar. So as he hits, outside hand drops low, Opponent kind of tries to sit around his shoulder. All right, now we typically don't see his hips higher than his shoulders. It's typically a bad position for him, and I think it's one of the important pieces to making his crackdown successful if he can keep his hips lower than his shoulders. So, right now, he's likely going to try and work to get back to that position. We can see that inside leg start to go straight, kind of start to drop his hips toward the mat. And right there we can see hips get lower than shoulders. And then the other piece along with trying to get their leg straight is to get that foot off the mat. That way they can't use it. So hips lower than shoulders, and then leg straight, foot off the mat are some important pieces here. He finds space on the backside to reach across double leg and it ends up being, in theory, a fairly simple finish. It takes him a little bit, because this guy turns and wrestles into him, but. In this clip, we get a good look at kind of the last little piece to what I think makes his crackdown successful. Um, and it's getting that inside hip lower than his outside hip. All right, really nice hand fight sequence. And then, drops into his attack. All right. As he feels 
the opponent sit around the corner. A lot of guys are trying to go crotch lift here. Sitikov does a great job recognizing this, and he always slides his hips away and then gets his inside hip lower than his outside hip. All right, so right now they're even. We see as the guy starts to sit around this corner, he's getting that inside hip lower than his outside hip. This helps prevent this crotch lift. He also does a great job of hiding this ankle from uh, the opponent trying to grab it with their hand. And here we can see the other concepts in play as well. Hips lower than shoulders, and then working to get that outside leg straight and off the mat. And so as we continue through, we see still, along with this weight shift across, outside foot's off the mat, leg is definitely straight, inside hip lower than outside hip, and as he shifts the weight, he tries to keep that position. Very, very similar to the last clip, it's his attack, drops in the crackdown, guy looks for crotch lift, does a great job of hiding that position from him. So here, this guy's draping over top. He's gonna look to sit around the corner to try and get a crotch lock. We see this arm start to wrap deep. And again, Sitikov's going outside hand to the heel. He's trying to keep his hips lower than his shoulders. Gets that foot off the mat. Now everything is going to slide and we'll likely see this foot hide as well. Yep, windshield wipers that foot away and then sinks down to kind of shut this crotch lift option off. All right, again, inside hip lower than outside hip. So there's a little bit of a turn with his body in here where he kind of opens up this way. Not too much to get tipped backwards, but just enough to hide the crotch lift and shift some weight. And hips still lower than shoulders as they continue this position. He's working to get that foot off the mat, slides down even more just a little bit. And you can see his hand right here, searching for space across the guy's body to look for that quick double leg finish. Right, the guy's doing a pretty good job of closing the space off, but the weight is shifted. And again, foot's off the mat, leg is straight. It's really hard for the opponent to defend. Ends up in a quad pod and eventually gets his takedown. I'm not going to go through the whole finish sequence on this one just because it takes a while, but we can see some of the same concept in his crackdown to end up getting back to his feet depending on how that opponent defends. Alright, so he hits his little low ankle attack. So he slides in. We're going to see a weight shift right away. So we got weight on the guy's outside foot. The guy's going to try to adjust it by sitting around the corner. Sitikov fills this one pretty early, and he's already sliding that in inside foot away from him, getting that inside hip lower than his outside hip. As he hits the mat, again, we see this hand looking for kind of a quick finish where he reaches across the double. Um, as he continues to slide through, Foot off the mat, leg straight, find some space, but I think it's going to be pretty difficult for him to get his hand all the way out here. Oh, he does end up getting it all the way out. And then I think Guy pulls it up here. Yep. Guy does a good job reading that finish option. Pulls the hand off, but still not in a great spot. His leg's off the mat straight. Sitikov's got weight shifted across. And this starts to become a little bit more of a scramble type position. Guy's pretty flexible here, but Sitikov just wrestles up to his feet as the guy turns it to a single leg and then eventually gets his finish. All right, here we're going to take a look at what happens when the guy does end up getting to his crotch lock. Um, we're going to see some of the concepts being applied, but um, in the opposite way where he doesn't quite get to his ideal position. So he hits his attack. 
as they drop, we see this guy's able to get his foot in the mat. That's going to allow him to drive. He also gets to his crotch lock right away. So as they hit the mat, looks like he's trying to hide his foot by taking things away from him. But opponent's able to get his hands locked in the crotch. And we start to see, we still see inside hip lower than outside hip. This helps prevent that crotch lift position. Now, as his hips start to get lifted, um, his opponent typically wants to take him over his own head. All right, so as we see this lift, Sidikov's gonna kind of change the angle on him where he takes his outside leg or his far leg from us, this bottom one right here. And he's gonna step across the opponent's body and shift the weight. So, starts to get lifted. We see where that foot ends up on the far side. Now, before the opponent can change the direction back over his head. So right now, the momentum is going toward the guy's butt instead of over Sitikov's head. Still a little bit over his head, but this um, moving his hips around this direction starts to push this guy backwards, which uh, kind of changes the momentum for a second instead of it being over his head. So as he steps around, now this knee's gonna drop and he's gonna use that momentum to shift weight up and through his opponent. Now, this is not a great position for a crotch lift guy. His hands are still locked, but I mean, he definitely can't get weight on his head. And now Sitikov can look for his finish options. And again, he's still, once he shifts that weight, keeping that inside hip low, he doesn't want to give any position back once he gets here. And eventually the guy tries to recover. Sitikov ends up on top. Lots of adjustments on this one. All right, so gets into his crackdown, beats a chest wrap. We're going to see the opponent switch to kind of a crotch lift here in a second. We see some hand adjustments here, which we can talk about in another clip. But we see that kind of same kind of step around position, shift his weight, and then finish. All right, so first thing to notice, I mean, we all know this guy's good at a chest wrap. It's just no. Still, Sitikov's going to drop his outside hand to the leg. Now, hips stay lower than shoulders, even in this position. All right, he does that hand twist we kind of saw in that first clip to get the opponent down to his hip. And it continues to move that direction to try and build up. Now we see a little bit of weight shift and also a little bit of corner sit action from the opponent. Now, here's where Sitikov starts to win the position. So, shifts the weight, outside hand, drops low, down the opponent's leg, and this gets his leg straight, and it's gonna be really hard to recover that position. All right. So right here we see this is getting difficult because now this foot's starting to become useless since his leg is straight and it's stuck in the mat. All right. And we see opponent come over, try and tack laces, and then switch to crotch lock. And then right away, hiding that foot, getting that inside hip down. Gets the foot off the mat. All the things that make this position good for him. Reaching across far hand, trying to find a quick finish. We see the weight shift start to happen across. Now here we see some things happening with his hands where he ends up dropping his inside hand low. But now the opponent starts to be able to bend his knee again. And it starts to get a little bit um, 
not necessarily dangerous yet, but it becomes a better position for the opponent since he can bend his leg now. But we start to see Sitikov attack his wrist, look for some wrist trap options. All right, now, he feels this, uh, the opponent feels this, and he immediately lets go of his chest wrap. And then instead of allowing him to get his hand back inside, Sitikov closes the space off with his elbow. All right, now he's not letting him get any kind of bite around his body anymore. So this whole space is closed off. Opponent's not going to be able to get his hand back inside. Now the finish becomes a little bit easier. All right, you can see, still trying to shift the weight across the opponent's body. And he eventually does start to build, get to kind of a crotch lift position. And we're going to see that same far leg step across and weight shift the opponent outside. So he steps, kind of changes the direction of momentum, gets the guy falling toward his butt. And then we're going to see his head shoot up. Shoot. Right there. Now he's back into his kind of crackdown pipe position. Foot off the mat. Leg straight, hips lower than shoulders, inside hip, lower than outside hip, and it should be a pretty quick finish here. Yep. All right, here we're going to see a little bit different kind of finish options in here. A lot of the same concepts apply, but it's a little bit squirrely as he wrestles his position. All right, so pretty typical attack. All right, as a guy starts to sit around this corner and looks for his chest wrap. Again, still see outside hand low, trying to get the guy's leg straight. Gets him to his butt, foot off the mat. All things that have been happening. Now here, we actually see the guy get weight over Sitikov's head. Does a pretty good job of floating the position. Possible exposure, who knows? Not really what I'm concerned with. So, after this sequence, we can see that Sitikov's hands are not down around his heel, so the opponent's gonna be able to bend his leg again. Right here, the leg is bent, but still, he starts to get his inside hip lower than his outside hip, hips, lower than shoulders now here we start to see where Sitikov drops his inside hand down around the ankle and it's hard to tell from this angle but he's starting to use his outside hand which is this one right here to trap his opponent's arms and wrists in here now he's going to start to look to tip him up all right he actually has a grip that's wild he has a grip with both hands so this elbow control an ankle and then that same hands on his wrist and other hand is also on his wrist so he's got both arms controlling his opponent's arm and the elbow controlling his leg so even when Sitikov's outside hand isn't low on the heel his inside hand will be or inside elbow in this case and right now we see him try and tip and then he's gonna hop over to look for an exposure then comes back. And then eventually ends on top. So here's an instance where the opponent gets a really good angle on their chest wrap. Actually gets Sitikov's shoulder outside. And I think they review this and it ends up being an exposure. But take a look at kind of why I think he was able to get this position. So we pause it here we can see where Sitikov's shoulder is at which makes it really hard to get the guy's leg straight again we need some pushing above his leg and pulling below his leg or um, below his knee to get that leg straight so really good 
um, corner set here by his opponent. We can already see the shoulder starting to peek out a little bit right there. And then we see kind of all the things happening that Sidikov doesn't want to happen. So legs not straight, all right. Um, hips obviously higher than his shoulders. And then as this guy continues to get weight, we see the outside hip drop lower than the inside hip. Right there. And you know, most of this probably comes from not being able to get the guy's leg straight right away. But still ends up on top. This is another instance where the guy does a good job of getting his exposure. Um, it's actually kind of a wild exposure here. So we see Sitikov doing a pretty good job. Shoulders in. Hands low. Now, what we see happen is as the guy kind of slips over top, his knees starting to bend, and we can see Shitikov's shoulders start to peek out of this pocket. Now, the angle that this guy exposes is pretty wild. So, there's really nothing behind Sitikov to stop him from going backwards. So instead of kind of sitting in the corner and trying to take Sitikov over his head, he just rolls across his back and we can see like there's just nothing back here to stop him from going through. And again, guy's legs able to be bent as he comes through. But Sitikov rolls with it and ends up being on top.